In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to round down a number. So here we have a very basic table and we have a value in B4, which we want to round down. And there's a few different ways how to do this. So we want to round down in C4. So we highlight C4 and then we press the equals key to bring up the function box. Then we want to type out round down. Now at this point, we can do things manually by selecting open bracket. However, what I like about the Apple's numbers spreadsheet is that you can press enter and this will give you all the information that the function needs to work correctly. So here we need two bits of information, the number to round down and the digits. So let's work on the first one first. We want to click number to round. So we highlight that. Now we want to select the number we want to round down. So this is the value in B4. Now the second value that you need to enter is how many decimal spaces we want there to be. So we want to highlight this and then let's say we want to round down to one decimal space. You want to type out one and then you either want to press the enter key or the little green circle. And as you can see, numbers automatically round down to one decimal space. If you want to round down to two decimal spaces, we'll click the box again with the function in and we can change the one to a two. And again, we can press the enter key or the green tick. And as you can see, numbers automatically round down to the two decimal places. And by using positive numbers, as we have done here, like one and two, you can round down to as many decimal places as you wish. Yet, so let's say we want to round down to the nearest whole number. What you want to do is bring up the function box again, then you want to take out the two here, and we want to enter a zero. Then we want to press the enter key or the green tick. And as you can see, numbers has round down to the nearest whole number. Now, if you want to round down to the nearest 10 or the nearest 100, what you want to do is double click in the function box. In the previous demonstrations, we've been using positive numbers. But what we want to do is use negative numbers. So we'll take out the zero here, then we'll enter the minus symbol and then enter one. And then press enter or the green little tick. This will round down to the nearest 10. And as you can see, numbers has automatically done it for us. Now, if you want to round down to the nearest 100, Let's bring up the function again. Let's take out the one, but without taking out the minus. And now let's enter two and then press the enter key or the little green tick. And as you can see, numbers has rounded down to the nearest 100. So that's how to round down in Apple numbers. If you want to know how to round up, then check out this video here. And thank you for watching.